of these ladies to pick a card. Ooh, earlier I could feel you just itching to give your own spin on those questions. Laglagan, sis. Pero I think it's a given naman for us Q&A nerds, diba? But the ladies did an exceptional job despite the difficult questions. Yes, we are very proud mentors right now. Okay, so let's hope our remaining finalists enjoy and relish this competition as much as we do. Let's proceed with Bini Bini 23 from Albay, Jasmine Dimabulangan. <laughs> Guest panelist, Congresswoman Vilma Santos Recto. Kindly turn to your, your back to see the question. Magandang gabi, Binibini. This is my question. So much has happened to us in the course of a year. When we emerge from this crisis, what positive change do you foresee happening to humanity in general? Something positive that I have witnessed during the pandemic is how resilient and adaptable people are. We have been put through a lot the past year, but still we find ways to help one another and find, um, find ways to help. And at the end of the day, as long as we put our generosity and charity first, then together we can heal and we can get through this crisis. Thank you. Thank you very much, candidate number 23. Up next, we have candidate number one, Samantha Panlilio. I chose Judge Mr. Rajo Laurel. Good evening, Bini Bini. Hi. Good, Good evening, Bini Bini. Good evening. YOLO, you only live once. Name something you learned and did for the first time during the pandemic, which you consider as the most life-changing of all. The one thing that I did during the pandemic was actually cook food for frontliners because I love to cook and I also have a food vlog which um, I do in my spare time and it was such a fulfilling and humbling experience you know helping these people and helping contribute to the people who are actually in the front lines helping us Filipinos and so I hope that what I did inspired other women too to also help out one another because the only way that we can survive and heal and recover through this pandemic is if we help one another thank you just in the nick of time. Thank you so much, Bini Bini One. Next up, we have from Quezon Province, Bini Bini Eight, Patricia Babista. Shuki! Shanobi coming from Miss Liza Soberano. Hi, good evening, Patricia. So my question for you is, fake news, bashing, rants, and the like are abound on social media. Why do you think they should not be part of the new beautiful, even if they encourage social interactions on this platform? Social media is such a beautiful technology that has given us, but there is always limitations. So I hope that in social media, we will create a space where there is no hate. Thank you. Thank you, Patricia. Up next, we have Binibini number 25, Honey Grace Cartasano. Please pick your card. My judge is Mr. Joseldo C. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Bini Bini number 25. Amidst the hardships and suffering the world is facing now, if you're given the chance to face God and ask one question, what will that be and why? If I will be having a chance, chance to ask God, it is, it is why? 
but I know that everything happens for a reason. We may be facing pandemic right now and there is so much uncertainty, but this revealed that every Filipino has the heart of a hero. So thank you God for everything, even though we're facing this pandemic. Thank you to all the Filipino heroes. Thank you. Thank you, honey. Next up from Masbate is Binibini17, Hannah Arnold. My judge is Miss Pinky Webb. Hi, Hannah. Hello. Given the reach and power of social media, do you believe that genuine freedom of speech exists in the Philippines nowadays? Why or why not? First of all, freedom of speech is a basic human right that we all must remember. And it is important for a democracy. And with our upcoming election, we definitely need free speech. For example, on Twitter, we are limited to few characters. And what I have seen from these tweets has been powerful and has helped me think about who I would like to vote for in the upcoming election. Thank you. Thank you, Binibini number 17, Hannah Arnold. Next up, we have Binibini number 10, Maureen Montaigne. My judge is Secretary Benito Bengdon Jr. Good evening, Binibini. Here's my question. Now that compassion is needed more than ever, what is your most recent act of kindness and how did this affect others? During the pandemic, I was in Shargao and together friends and I banded together and we created the Shargao Community Kitchen. It was a trying time and everyone felt how hard it was. Our hearts were heavy, but together we rose. Together we supported our communities and provided our hot meals and assistance to everyone on the island and helped as much as we could. And for me, it proved that together, community conquers all. Thank you. Thank you so much, Bini Bini 10, Maureen Montaigne. And we have the last Bini Bini to show her heart. Bini Bini 12 from Cagayan de Oro, Cinderella Obenita. Hi, Gahat and Nicole. I have chosen celebrity guest panelist, Mr. Michael Cinco. Kindly turn to the screen to see your question. Hello and good evening to you, Bini Bini. Here's my question. How important are luxury items like bags, clothes, and jewelry for a woman when the national economy is down and struggling? In life, we always find ourselves at a crossroad of choices. Women always have a choice whether to prioritize luxury items when, while we are facing a pandemic and also they have a choice to embrace a concept of a new beautiful which is responsive to the needs of the time adaptive to the change of times and I think I would choose to be that woman who understands the problems of the Philippines the problems of my community so that we would be able to uplift each other and I would be that kind of woman who would comfort the afflicted and afflict the comfortable Mayang Gabi very well said and thank you to all of our finalists you have shown grace under enormous pressure and i wish you all the best my pageant sisters that officially concludes all the rounds of the competition this year